Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K17 Universe Mode. My name is Brennan Blaze, and we are here with NXT tonight. And we understand that we're going to open this show up with the champ. The glorious one. It is Bobby Roode who is coming out here to address the situation between himself, Ty Dillinger, Cassius Ono, and Roderick Strong. Well, later on tonight, we're going to see Strong, Ono, and Dillinger in a triple threat match with the winner taking on Bobby Roode at NXT TakeOver 5. Well, Bobby Roode, he's going to come out and give us his thoughts on that matchup and who he would like to face out of those three. And most of all, the glorious one will grace us with his presence. And thank goodness for that. Great to have Bobby Roode with us here. And whilst we wait for Bobby Roode to get on the mic, just a quick note from me. Extreme Rules will be coming away Sunday, the 12th of March. And as always, it'll be coming to you at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK Time. And well, Bobby Roode wants to speak, but this crowd is still giving it to him. His entrance music is still being played. He's not happy. The champ wants to talk. He's ready to talk now. So tonight I hear we're having a little bit of a triple threat match to determine who gets the right to face me at NXT TakeOver. All week I've been asked, Bobby, who do you want to face at TakeOver? Do you want to face Dillinger, Strong, or Ono? The fact is, it doesn't matter who I face. I'm going to beat them regardless. You see, I could face all three in one match at one time, and I could beat all three at the same time. So when I have to face just one of them, it doesn't matter. Me, Bobby Roode, will stand above the rest. Just like always, I will stand tall and still be the NXT Champion. And all of you people can continue to praise me for how great I am, because I know I am great but it's about time that all of you learned it and all the guys in the back realize that they cannot beat me. Well, hang on a second. That's our general manager, Shawn Michaels. Well, I don't know why Michaels is coming to the ring, but he has got a message for Bobby Roode. What does he have to say to the champ? Bobby, sorry for interrupting you, but I couldn't help but overhear what you just said. If my hearing is right, I just heard you say that you could beat Strong Dillinger and Ono in one match at one time. And the fact that a triple threat match is irrelevant because you will beat that man one-on-one. -on -one. Well, Bobby, since you're so confident that you can beat all three at once, I'd like to put that to the test. And tonight, I was going to have a big triple threat match to determine the number one contender, but I can put that off for another time. Instead, tonight, you will face Ty Dillinger who will be one of your three opponents at the upcoming NXT TakeOver because you will defend your championship in a fatal four-way match. Well, Bobby Roode may have just shot himself in the foot. He said he could beat all three at once. Well, now Michaels is going to make him. It's a fatal four-way now for the NXT Championship. What has Bobby Roode done? I cannot believe Bobby Roode has put himself in this position. I mean, what an idiot. He could have just had a one-on-one -on -one match now. It's a fatal four-way. This week on NXT, we have Dash and Dawson, the revival up against TM61. Nikki Cross goes one-on-one -on -one with Liv Morgan. Eric Young will go one-on-one -on -one with we Elias. Find who takes on Grand Metalik at TakeOver for the Cruiserweight Championship. It'll be Dar versus Dunn. And that match that just was announced, it'll be Dillinger versus Bobby Roode. Well, now Bobby Roode's in a fatal four-way match. We'll see how Ty Dillinger squares up against Roode tonight. It'll be the revival of beating TM61. Nikki Cross versus Liv Morgan. It's Cross with the win. And Young versus Samson. Eric Young with the win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's time for some cruiserweight action here in NXT. It's Noam Darman who... Earned himself an opportunity to be in this match after a solid win a few weeks ago. Now he takes on Pete Dunne. The winner will take on Grand Metalik at the upcoming TakeOver Special. Well, tough competition tonight for Noam Dar. Pete Dunne looked pretty good in his matchup last week in that triple threat match. He was pretty impressive. Now he has a chance to put his skills to the test. 
Can Noam Dar though get it done? Noam Dar getting some crowd support as of late. The support from him has been building. On the other hand, Pete Dunn, uh, the crowd is not exactly all that receptive to his him and his ways. He's known as the Bruiserweight. Both men from the UK, a chance to take on Graham Manalik, who I gotta say was very, very impressive in the few matches we've seen him leading up to winning that Cruiserweight Championship. And now, since being Cruiserweight Champion, he looks the goods. Where's Pete Dunne? Of course, Pete Dunne making us wait a long time before he comes to the ring. And that's just the type of man he is. You know, he wants the world to stop whilst he is approaching the ring. Doesn't want anything to happen. He wants, the, wants to be the center of the attention, wants everyone to look at him, wants everybody to wait until he's ready. That's what Pete Dunne's all about. He's just a guy who is looking to beat people up here in this Cruiserweight division. Like we said last week, he's got a little bit extra size, just makes the 205 limit. He is 205 just exactly. So any more, he'll be done. But, uh, oh, no pun intended there, but uh, he will uh, just hang in there at the moment in this Cruiserweight division. And obviously, he was pretty impressive in that triple threat matchup, as we saw last week. You can say what you want to say about Pete Dunne, but he's impressive. He is. He truly is. And he's got all the talent to really get something, you know, get, get some momentum here and perhaps even become a champion here in NXT. But I think the thing that will cost him is his attitude. His attitude towards his opponents and the way he carries himself. I mean, sometimes the ego can get in the way of some great things. And I fear that Pete Dunne's ego could get in the way. Pete Dunne with a couple of knees to the head of Dunne. He's now heading up to the top of the rope. Here comes Pete Dunn. What has he got planned? Double stop there. On to Da. Winner takes on Grand Metalik, as I said. And Grand Metalik, of course, won that big matchup at TakeOver 4 to earn the right to be the champion as Noam Da is knocked to the outside thanks to Pete Dunn. And Metalik, in the couple of instances we've seen our best of the best cruiserweights go at each other in the best cruiserweights you know fight it out to see who is the better man well Metalik's won that situation a number of times then he went on to win the cruiserweight championship so realistically Grant Metalik is on fire he perhaps is the best cruiserweight we have right now by far and that puts a lot of pressure on Metalik yes but it also kind of shows us just how talented that Metalik is that he's been able to outclass the rest of the cruiserweights but the thing is have the cruiserweights start to work have they start to work him out yet have they started to figure him out get a game plan how to beat this guy that'll be the task that Metalik has to try and overcome you know can he can he um, develop some different innovative moves can he find a way to something uh, I guess predictable because now there's plenty of tape to study studying Grand Metalik whereas before in the early days of the Cruiserweight Championship just a couple months ago everyone was kind of new we didn't really know what to expect from everybody but everyone has had a few matches now so we're starting to kind of see everybody's style what they're all about that's why, that's uh, why I guess some guys, as Pete Dunn, nice move there, flying over the top of the rope. Some guys can obviously get away in the early instances. You know, they might deliver a move that was unexpected, might have something up their sleeve. But once that's uncovered, that'll be the task. That'll be the real challenge to find ways to uh, get victories after that. Anyways, Pete Dunn, going to be taken to the corner there by Dar. Here he comes in the corner. No, instead... Looks to work away on the legs here of Pete Dunn. Perhaps trying to slow Dunn down. And, wow. Big kicks right in the calves there of Pete Dunn. And now stomping away even more. Here comes Da. He's got Dunn on the bottom rope. And now I'm Da with a leg. Drops onto the head there of Pete Dunn. And the crowd celebrate with Noam Da. Excellent move there by Da. Pete Dunn days. Bit of damage done to the legs as well. It'll slow him down. German suplex there by Da. Now, Noam Dar wraps those legs up. He's going to continue to work away on the legs. Pete Dunn, will he tap? Pressure's on now. Going to try and find a way to counter. He's trying to slap the legs of Noam Dar to force the break, and that will work as well. A right hand. The bruiser weight trying to outmuscle Noam Dar here. Obviously, a big size advantage for Pete Dunn, as we know. And that's what he has to utilize. He has to utilize this advantage that he's been given. You know, he's decided to cut weight. Perhaps not challenge for the NXT title just yet. As an Itsuguri there. Jumping Itsuguri there by Dunn. And he's going to get... He's going to get Dar in the middle of the ring. Here is the cover. 
Could be it here. As Pete Dunn could have it. No. Well, Pete Dunn, he came here and decided that I guess his first title he wants to go for is the Cruiserweight title. He could have gone after the NXT Championship, but uh, I guess he was told by Shawn Michaels that there's obviously some big competition there. And his best chances of winning a title ASAP and perhaps in the Cruiserweight division. No Cruiserweights really set setting themselves apart just yet. So there's a huge opportunity, and Pete Dunne's been able to come in here and make the most of it early. Nice counter there by Dunne, avoiding the kick there by Da. Takes Da off his feet as well. So Pete Dunne, I think he's chosen the right way in. He had to cut a little bit of weight. He's just under the limit, and so far so good for him. He can keep this up, they keep this momentum going. I think he's going to go all the way to the NXT Cruiserweight Championship and win that title from Grand Metal League. Done now. A knee into the leg there of of uh, Dunn, does Noam Dar should say. As uh, he's going to be taken to the corner. As Pete Dunn as now he hits the, the elbow. He's going to get Noam Dar up, but he drags the arm down, pulls him down whilst he's down. The momentum takes Pete Dunn through. And now Noam Dar still working away in the leg. That's clearly a strategy coming to this one for Noam Dar. He must have found a weakness and feels as though slowing Dunn down is the way to go, keeping him grounded. And maybe try to look for a submission here. Taking off his feet now is Nom Da. Pete Dunn kick right into the face there by Da. And Nom Da gets Dunn back up. Going to try and well, win a bit of a brawl here, a bit of a fist fight, a couple of big right hands. Now the suplex as well by Da. Just got to get the hand on the chest there of Da. Of Dunn, I should say, does Dar. And now Noam Dar does. He has a chance to beat Dar with the shoulder up, though. Close battle between these two. Number one contenders match. The winner takes on Madalik. Uppercut there by Pete Dunn. Later on, we see Rude and Dillinger one-on-one. -on -one. Now that Bobby Rude has shot himself in the foot, he had a chance to... Well, have it a bit of an easier time at TakeOver. Now it's going to be perhaps the biggest match of his career to date. The toughest match so far. I mean, well, the Kurt Angle match was pretty hard, but now he has to take on three guys that are very, very good in one match at one time to try and defend his championship. Figure, law, figure four leg lock here by Noam Dar. Not able to make Dunn tap. He's really trying to work away on those legs, but Dar doesn't seem to be too phased. It's a strategy employed here by Noam Dar, but hasn't worked out yet. Oh! Driven head first into the mat. Cuts him open as well. Pete Dunn now. Gonna follow it up with a... Oh no, went for a suplex. Missed out as Dar instead hits one of his own. Pete Dunn drove Noam Dar's head straight into the mat and it's even forced him to be cut open. Now Dunn, one more time. Pete Dunn. Drives Noam Dar out of the contention race and books his place for takeover. What a win for Pete Dunn tonight. Well, he just seems to be getting better and better every time we see him in this ring, Pete Dunn. And that's the scary thing for Metalik. Pete Dunn is just getting started here, folks. Well, Noam Dar had a strategy, attack the legs. It did not work out at all. The bruiser weight was able to Remain on his feet, and in the end, just drove Noam Dar headfirst two times in a row after cutting him over the first time. The second time, knocked him out cold, and Pete Dunn, the Bruiserweight, will have a shot for the Cruiserweight title at TakeOver number five. Our fifth edition of NXT TakeOver, and it will be Metalik versus Dunn. Well, time for our main event here on NXT. It is going to be the perfect 10 in singles action against the man he will face for the Cruiserweight Championship alongside Roderick Strong and Cassius Ono in a fatal four-way match at TakeOver 5. Three top contenders all challenging for Bobby Roos' NXT title. We thought it was going to be a triple threat. It should have been a triple threat tonight. And Stan Ty Dillinger gets his chance at the champion. And that's a major change. I think Bobby Roode has really made a big mistake. He could have had maybe Dillinger, maybe Strong Owner, just one of them at TakeOver. Instead, he came out here, ran his mouth, said how great he was, and that he could beat all three at one time if he wanted to. Well, Shawn Michaels said, you know what? You think you can do it? 
Why not show us? Let's see how good you are. And now he's going to have to show us at TakeOver. So here is the champ, the gold on the shoulder. I mean, I, I wonder how he's feeling. I mean, he's got to be frustrated. He's got to be annoyed that he messed this one up. He had a chance to make life easy. And I guess his arrogance, his cockiness just got in the way for one night. His ego was too much. And he talks about how glorious he is. Well, we know he's glorious, but I guess tonight he needed just to, you know, not be so glorious. Just be good. You know, don't be glorious. Just be, you know, good. And he would have been okay. If he came out and said, you know what? I'm good. And I can't wait to see who wins this triple threat tonight. Instead, he came out and said, I'm, I'm glorious. I'm the man. I can beat all three. Well, now here we are. Fatal 4-Way now at TakeOver. So Bobby Roode will have a tough assignment. There's no doubt about that. I thought it was going to be difficult for Bobby Roode to take on one of these three competitors. Now he has to take on all three. So Bobby Roode has a really tough time ahead. So Ty Dillinger versus Bobby Roode tonight. Bobby Roode, I think, is in a pretty bad mood. So Ty Dillinger, whilst he gets a chance at the champ, well, the champ's pretty pissed off, let's be honest. So this will not be easy at all for Ty Dillinger. Bobby Roode will have a bit of a point to prove now. He, he came out here earlier, he ran his mouth saying, oh, how great he is. Well, now it's time to back it up. And Bobby Roode will have to do it here tonight and, of course, a takeover. And straight away, oh, come on, Bobby Roode takes the turnbuckle pad off. The referee looking at Dillinger was not looking at Roode, and now the exposed turnbuckle could come into play early. Bobby Roode may be able to utilize that. Oh, it gets swept off his feet there by Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10, trying to showcase his ability here tonight as a DDT. Well, Ty Dillinger, he's had a pretty good rise the last month or so here in NXT. Ty Dillinger's really showcased that he's the real deal. I think Ty Dillinger could beat Bobby Roode. I think he has the potential to be an NXT champion. He just needs the confidence as Roode spears down. Dillinger off his feet now. Roode up the top of the rope. What the hell has he got planned? Bobby Roode tried to splash down on Dillinger. Did not work at all. Gets out of harm's way, does Ty. Well, just like Ono, who came in, make a, made a big splash. Roderick Strong's had a good start to his NXT career. Ty Dillinger, he was around in the last season of NXT. Didn't really do much. He had a few matches here and there. Didn't really get much of an opportunity. Didn't build any momentum. But the season off, and a new start, a new season, and Ty Dillinger has got things going for himself. He is getting everything right, ticking all the boxes. And now he has a real big chance. It's a little slimmer than what it could have been. Could have been a 50-50 chance, but now it's a little lower. But now instead, Ty Dillinger, instead of maybe he's going to get a title shot, he definitely will be. So Ty Dillinger will be pretty pleased that at least he's guaranteed a chance, an opportunity at the title, rather than maybe he misses out tonight. Because when you that triple threat, I don't know who was going to win that one. All three had momentum. All three were looking really, really good. But now it doesn't matter anyways. All three are in that match. Bobby Roode, right hands. It just slams down Ty Dillinger's head into the mat. Off his feet now is Roode. And Ty Dillinger, he might be looking to go over the top of the rope, but he will as he lands on Bobby Roode. A nice athleticism shown there by Ty Dillinger. Pretty big man, Ty Dillinger. Able to fly over the top like that is quite impressive. It's a tall man, Bobby Roode. Kicked in the gut, and oh, Bobby Roode in the exposed turnbuckle. Well, it's only Bobby Roode's fault. He, uh, he exposed it. The referee might need to patch things up here. And it's now Ty Dillinger is going to celebrate. Well, he got Roode right in that turnbuckle. And that will hurt Roode. It didn't seem to phase him too much. But uh, that's going to sting. And Ty Dillinger hopefully will be able to take advantage. As he's got Bobby Roode up. And now Ty Dillinger takes down Roode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go to break. Let's hope that that referee patches up that turnbuckle. we we'll back after this. Ladies and gentlemen, on March 12, Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK Time, Extreme Rules will go live on Brennan Plays. Your main event will be an Extreme Rules match for the Universal Championship. The unstoppable, the dominant Goldberg meets one of the best we've ever seen here in Universe Mode, Kevin Owens. That is your main event. At Extreme Rules. Well, we are back here at NXT, and during the break, the referee, thank goodness, patched up that turnbuckle pad. Bobby Roode went into it just before we went to break, and well, since then he's recovered, and he's now back on top in this matchup, and Ty Dillinger trying to work his way back into it. 
Bobby Roode with a close line. Down goes Dillinger. Well, we paid the referee the big bucks down here at NXT. They are in developmental. They are learning how to get better at refereeing. Thank God, you know, God knows they need it. And, well, the referee has uh, smartened up a little bit. Got rid of that turbo. Oh, come on! Bobby Roode's going to do it again. You've got to be joking. You've got to be kidding me. Bobby Roode. The referee repatches it. You know what Rude does? He says, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it again. The same one as well. The arrogance of Bobby Rude. Doesn't care what the referee does. Here we are praising the ref and Rude ruins it. So Bobby Rude stopping away. Continuing to stop away here on Dillinger. Heads collide there. As now Dillinger. Oh, what a knee. What a shot there to Rude. And now Dillinger's going to go to the second. What's he got planned? He's saying, hey, Bobby, get up. I've got something. I've got something to show you. Off the second. Oh, what about that? Flew through and Bobby Roode's head bouncing off the canvas. That is not going to... That's not going to, uh, well, tickle for Bobby Roode. That is going to hurt big time. I'm a little worried about that exposed turnbuckle, though. Bobby Roode will be looking for it. Atomic drop there by Dillinger. Maybe this time, Ty Dillinger might be able to take advantage of the exposed buckle. There's uh, Bobby Roode. Has that arm wrenched back there by Dillinger. So some pressure on the arm of Rude. Oh, jeez. Tight Dillinger. Perhaps trying to take some of those power moves out of the game of Bobby Rude. That spine buster, as you know. Or maybe even stop Bobby Rude from being able to lock into that glorious DDT as easily. Bobby Rude now up top. He went for the splash earlier. Can he get it this time? No, he can't again. Dillinger once again gets out of the way. Bobby Rude trying to fight his way. Out of the offense here by Dillinger. There's a DDT. It wasn't as glorious, but it's still effective. Bobby Roode spiking the head of Ty Dillinger. Pressure on Dillinger now. The perfect 10. Well, he's looking at about an 8 at the moment. Maybe an 8.5 to be fair. He's looking good, but he's not the 10 that he needs to be to beat Bobby Roode. Speaking of a spy buster. No, counted. DDT by Dillinger. And that was quite impressive by Dillinger. Well... He's trying to get this crowd behind him. I think he needs to focus on Bobby Roode, the champ, in a bad way. Dillinger has a chance to beat the champ one-on-one -on -one here. And there's no better way to have momentum and confidence heading in towards a title match than by beating the champion one-on-one -on -one right in the middle of the ring. Roode now slams down Dillinger. Excellent move. He just picked him up and drops him down as he'll drop the knee as well. So Bobby Roode dropping everything at the moment. And has a chance to drop Dillinger once again. Maybe looking for that glorious DDT. Dillinger not even getting up. He's got... Doesn't know where the hell he, hell he is, but he does now. Heads collide. Bobby Roode. Once again, collides with Dillinger. Roode now. He's going to... Well, he's going to pack Dillinger up and slam him down, down with that pump handle. Slam. Could be it. No. Well, Bobby Roode looking quite good there. But uh, Dillinger... Misses the kick. There's Bobby Roode now. There's the spine buster. That's what Roode was looking for. But can the glorious one get to a cover to beat Ty Dillinger? The perfect 10 in some trouble. Well, don't worry about 10. He needs to worry about the three count and kicking out of it. But he does not allow Bobby Roode to even go for the cover. And now, Bobby Roode again. What another beautiful slam. Just throwing tied Dillinger around this ring and that's very effective and Dillinger is in a bad way. Bobby Roode will send a huge statement here to all of his challenges at TakeOver by beating one of them here. You beat Dillinger I've got to say if Bobby Roode can beat Dillinger he can beat Ono and Roderick Strong. I think all three of them are on an even playing field kick out there by Dillinger so it's so hard to split them that's why that triple threat was going to be enforced because we needed to know who's going to be the rightful contender. We did not know all three of them so even Dillinger has a chance to break free of the crowd by getting a victory over the champion right now. Bobby Roode stopping away there on Dillinger. Striking away now. Oh, he's that right hand, that stiff shot right to the skull of Dillinger's even got a bit of blood there. So Dillinger seeing some of his own blood and it seems as though it's just motivated him. The perfect hand trying to fire up. Bobby Roode though with an elbow strike to the guts. And now, Bobby Roode hangs Dillinger up on the ropes. And Bobby Roode looking pretty confident now. He's got Dillinger. He's got him cut open. He's got him in the middle of the ring. And he's got him in a real bad way. 
Bobby Roode could finish it here. Spine Buster. Is that enough? Roode doesn't think so. He wants to do a little bit more damage or is he going to get Dillinger more towards the middle? And try and keep Dillinger down and grounded. Try and make it harder for Dillinger to get back to his feet and even use his legs to kick out as well. Bobby Roode trying to stop the offense from Dillinger and that might have been it from Dillinger that might have been the last gasp as now Dillinger in trouble Bobby Roode with a glorious DDT well you want to talk about a perfect 10 it does not get much more perfect than that what a DDT by Bobby Roode and that is the end of Dillinger and Roode well he messed up earlier but he made no mistake in that one a perfect victory for Roode tonight in fact Forget about perfect, it was glorious. Rude is looking the goods, heading in towards takeover. It's a fatal four-way, but Bobby Rude doesn't look too phased. A win over Ty Dillinger tonight. Bobby Rude setting himself up for one of the biggest matches in his career. Takeover is going to be huge. If it wasn't already going to be glorious, well, it's glorious and perfect as well. What a night. It will be, but for now, Bobby Roode will have to go home and, well, think about the mistakes he made tonight and wonder how he can overcome them at TakeOver. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for tonight's episode of NXT and Universe Mind. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the match you'll see at TakeOver number five. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Let's hit four likes to celebrate the Fatal 4-Way match. Subscribe to see more episodes. And hey, check out the website BrendanPlays.com and check out the NXT rosters on there. Follow me on Twitter at BrendanPlays and stay up to date by leaving a like on our Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.